Welcome to Fashion Made Live, where I'll be making this fantastic kind of summery dress. Um, from the photo, as you can see, I'm invisible, and I'm using orange tape to uh, create the style lines for the top part of this dress. Um, this dress is in three pieces, um, a small front facing, a bodice piece, and a back piece, and then there's a circle skirt. Um, so what I'm doing first is I'm taking my cotton muslin that I'll be using to drape the bodice. I am starching it and I'm ironing it. You always want to starch and iron before you drape. It is so worth it. If you don't and your stuff comes out whack, that's because likely you didn't iron out your muslin, even though your drape otherwise may be technically correct. You still need to iron stuff. So I'm going to take that actually fold it over a little bit of it and I'm going to put that folded edge over the center front. If you notice, I've put tape over the boobs and that is because when you wear a bra in the middle of the bra that creates projection between your boobs and you really want to make sure that you are keeping that in mind. So to make that easy, you just add a piece of tape across the nipples of your mannequin. Um, so yeah, um, I've gone ahead and I've traced over the top front facing of the bodice, I should say. Now I'm going to use um, my ruler to go ahead and uh, true the shape. Um, I'm also going to use a locking compass to add in my 5 8 inch seam allowance. Why a locking compass? Because it's efficient as fuck. Um, so now that that is set up, I'm going to go ahead and pin that in. And now I'm going to get ready to drape the second or bottom part of the front bodice. Um, so what I'm doing here is I'm just trying to figure out like how I want to get the silhouette right. Um, so what I'm going to do is like I did before, just go ahead and pin my muslin to the mannequin and then use a pencil to go ahead and trace out the outline. Once again, um, with my, uh, ruler and my curve, I'm going to go ahead and true the pattern and using a compass to add in my 5 8 seam allowance, chop that out, put it back on the mannequin, see if all is well. Now, what I have are super, super baby, tiny, small pins. Um, that is going, instead of basting by hand, I can just go ahead and pin the two pieces together and see if I have the drape correct. And it looks awesome. So now ready to go ahead and drape the back. Once again, take my ironed muslin. I'm going to go ahead and draw out uh, the major parts of the style line. And then once again, I'll take my pencil, uh, mark in my grain line, mark in the side seam, pull that off grab my French curve, true the shape, grab my compass, add in the 5 8 inch seam allowance, cut that out, and then head right back over to the mannequin where I will go ahead and pin the center back. And I'm going to use my baby pins to pin the side seam together just to see if I have the shape right. Um, now the shape looks awesome. So now what I'll do is I'll remove that. I'm actually going to flip it over to see how it's actually going to look um, if sewn together right away what the top bodice would look like. And I'm actually pretty happy about what it looks like. Um, the side seems where I want it to be. Um, if you look at this dress, I can tell right away that the model in the picture has, uh, they have these big kind of clippy things that they use on like photo shoots where they're pulling the back of the dress so that it looks better on the model who's usually small. You can tell this from the armpit. Um, so when looking at this dress, uh, you can do Google image search and see where it's found. It's actually got a bit of a looser kind of a drape in the front, much like my drape here has as well. Um, the dress in the image has a zipper going along the back. I've moved the zipper to the side, um, because it looks, I don't know. I just don't like seeing zippers. That, that's, that's my deal. That's all. Um, in the background, there's my cat. Um, and yeah, so I'm pretty much done with draping the top bodice. Um, I'm going to go ahead and cut this out and create the circle skirt bottom in a sec, but in the background, that's my cat Schmeep. He has a line of cat linens. Thanks for watching Fashion Made Live, where I make fashion live. Stay tuned for part two.